And it is time for the main event of the evening, the Hell in a Cell match for the Universal Championship, the Fiend Bray Wyatt versus the current champion, Seth freaking Rollins. Let's get right into it. The bell has rung, the referee has locked the cage. We have got red lighting, which is a nice feature, similar to how Sin Cara used to have his lighting. It looks like we're going to have the red lighting for the whole match. Rollins is fearful. The Fiend looks relaxed, running at him straight away. Seth taking it to Bray. And Bray with a headbutt taking him down. Seth just using the steel steps. He's finally got the Fiend Bray Wyatt down on the ground. Yeah, it took three. Three shots with the steel steps for the champ to put the Fiend down onto the ringside area. Obviously, both, both men are in the ringside area, but Seth's getting a table out now. Rollins may be looking for a suicide dive into the Fiend. Straight into the wall. Bray's still on his feet. Seth with it, another one. Second time, suicide dive. Fiend once again still on his feet. Seth this time going to throw him into the steel steps, sending him back down. Seth rolling back in the ring. Maybe time to set that table up. Suicide dive for a third time. This time Bray's caught him. Sister Abigail into the wall. Bray Wyatt may have just knocked him out cold. The Fiend taking his time. Big Uranagi again. No, Rollins reverses. Back elbows to Bray. Big Enziguri. Super kick. And the Fiend is laid on the table. Seth going to go up to the top rope. Maybe hit a frog splash to put the Fiend straight through that table. Frog splash. There goes the Fiend through the table. Rollins landed hard. The Fiend's back to his feet. Rollins with a super kick to the midsection. And a curb stomp. Bray's... And Bray's up to his feet. He just took a curb stop and got up. Second time? No. Sister Abigail. Cover. One, two. Kick out by Seth. He's got his hands on Seth. Oh, he just... He just snapped uh, Seth's neck. Same as what he did with Finn. Just... Snapped his neck. Don't try that at home, kids. Never do that. Bray has got the hammer that he killed Rambling Rabbit with for the first or second time. Second time. That hammer. Is he going to use that on... S no, surely not. Just driving Seth midsection right into the... Wall of the Hell in a Cell. Now headbutt him. That hammer looks so top heavy. Super kick by Seth. And again. Fiend's down to one knee. Third super kick. Rollins with a high knee. Bray still on his feet. The Fiend is incredible. And another knee. Fiend still on his feet. Bray Wyatt is the best thing in wrestling. Not just WWE, best thing in wrestling right now, in my opinion. Here we go again, Seth Rollins with a third curb stomp. Or was that a fourth? Either way, he's going for another one. And again. Another curb stomp and the crowd are turning on this match. They're cheering now, the Fiend's back up to his feet. Rollins going to hit the pedigree to Bray Wyatt. And a curb stomp again. Covers. One. 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 He kicked out a one. Seth Rollins again. Another curb stomp, there it is. And again, what can Seth do? 
don't get me wrong, I want Bray to win, but... Come on, that's enough. No more finishing moves. Crowd turning on this match. Let's just hope Vince doesn't see that as they're booing the Fiend. They're booing Seth. It's the top guy curse of WWE. No matter how good of a wrestler you are, no matter how much the fans loved you beforehand, the moment you become a top guy, they turn on you. Cena, Hogan, Rock, Roman, Becky, now Seth. Even Kofi. What are they chanting? No idea. But the fiend is out and Seth has a chair in his hand. I don't, I don't ever remember seeing any kind of Don't get too close. Seth looking over on the fiend. He's gonna reach up and grab him in the mandible claw. Watch ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, maybe not. Seth just smashed the steel chair over his head. And the fiend still kicked out at one. I thought Bray was going to, you know, reach up and grab him. But no, Seth just hit him over the head. He's got a mini ladder now as well. Seth doing whatever he can to try and take out the fiend. Nothing is working. Oh! Just impales that ladder into the face. Kick out at two. The Fiend is unstoppable. Rollins has brought a toolbox in the ring. He's just laid the ladder over Bray's face. He's now got a steel chair in hand. He's sandwiching the steel chair in between the, uh, the ladder. Now what's he doing with the toolbox? Ah! He's just smashing the toolbox onto everything, so it's all crushing Bray's face. The tools went everywhere. There's spanners, wrenches, pliers. It's all over the ring. Now he's wedged the toolbox in one of the steps of the ladder, like in one of the gaps. Is he going to stomp the box? Rollins has got his old mentor's trusty sledgehammer. He's going to sledgehammer the tool. Wait, wait, wait. referee telling Seth to, to stop, to not do it. Seth having second thoughts, he would literally, that's like killing a man, what he was about to do. Bray still hasn't moved. We need the Fiend to get up and start doing stuff. Come on. No! Seth did it anyway. What? 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 The ref just threw this match. Are you taking the mick? Why? Why? It's no DQ. That means anything goes. But Seth hits a toolbox with a sledgehammer that's laid on a ladder and a chair on top of someone's face. And the match gets thrown out. Are you taking the piss? That's too... Ugh. I'm not raging, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to be one of them fans that's like, I'm cancelling my network because you're not. You're, you're not going to. Um, but that's just stupid, isn't it? Like, that's Helena Cell's Universal Championship matches two years in a row ended in like a no contest. But this wasn't even a no contest. This was a DQ. No contest, fair enough. You ended a match. But DQ, the one match stipulation that is anything goes, no disqualification whatsoever, and you end it in a DQ. Well, that was Helena Cell. Is there anything else going to happen? My pizza just arrived, so that was making me in a bit of a better mood. I mean, I would have preferred it if it came a bit earlier, but... <laughs> Jesus Christ, listen to that crowd. I haven't heard a crowd like that since Roman beat Taker. 
They are seriously loud. Bullshit chants? I thought so. I've got all the EMTs out here for Bray. They are not happy. Can you hear how loud they are through my uh, through the camera? The only thing I can compare them to is Philadelphia at the 2015 Royal Rumble and Orlando when Roman beat Taker at Mania 33. And considering this is ju they're chanting AEW now, Seth waking the fiend up. I mean, at least they're ending the show with Ray on top. But what a stupid ending. Fair enough if you don't want to pull the trigger on him yet, but... Could have just made him disappear. I'd, I would rather him disappear than you end a no-DQ match in a disqualification. What are they chanting? Sounds like refund, but... Fiend lifting the mat. Sad thing about this. This is just going to make them turn on Seth even more, isn't it? Sister Abigail on the floor. Is Seth bleeding? Seth's got blood coming out of his mouth. Well... That's the end. I hope you enjoyed. That sucked.